Today, President Trump declared the opioid crisis a public health emergency, and now we've learned Walgreens plans to sell the life-saving antidote Narcan over the counter. It's the same drug used by first responders when responding to an overdose. Jermont Terry is live with the story, and Jermont, you've been out talking to people. Do they feel like this is the right move? Kimberly, the reactions are mixed. People realize that the opioid epidemic is a real thing, but what the Walgreens stores are doing, making the Narcan available for anyone to pick up, brings up the debate. Is this enabling or helping the problem? It's estimated 60,000 people died in 2016 from heroin addiction across America. We're never going to arrest our way out of this problem. And Michigan is no stranger to the uptick of overdoses. Many first responders are already equipped with Narcan. It's the drug overdose reversal medication that can help someone recover from an overdose. Yes, we get this from the Oakland County Department of Public Health. They provide these to us. Um, but there's a cost to that. And now Walgreens prepares to stock its shelves with the nasal form. The medication will be available at nearly 8,000 stores, including Michigan. And you won't need a prescription, making it available to addicts and family members of those fighting the addiction. It's good for them to have on hand in case they could have an emergency, um, like an opioid overdose. Everyone is now changing the game on how we help those who are addicted. But some question of making the medication so readily available only enables the addict. Lake Orion Police Chief Jerry Narsh disagrees. I think the Narcan sales in stores is indicative of the acceptance uh, by society uh, that this is one way to fight the battle. Now, the nasal form that will be sold here at Walgreens sells for about $135. People are saying that's high enough that people will use it for the legitimate reasons that they need it for. Reporting live, I'm Jermont Terry, Local 4.